Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Castlevania Lords of Shadow. Good lord. So Pan comes again with I really didn't mean to have this fucking LP go on for so long. I was literally like, yeah, it's been a while since I played a Castlevania game. But then I had to move in the middle of filming this. I, I talked about this with Valkyria Chronicles, which the finale of aired recently. Sorry, I should be listening to Patty Stew. I might have to file for attention bankruptcy with it. I don't know if I, 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 don't know if I can care. I don't know if I can care anymore. Look. He must go and pause the video right now and read it if you want to. I just can't give a shit. I get it, Patrick Stewart. You were an expensive hire. Uh, but I talked about this with Valkyria Chronicles, which finally also finished. And now that that's done, we can start this up again. Uh, but we are playing through Castlevania Lords of Shadow because... I love the Castlevania series. I played for the through the first th uh, first two games in 2021, and it had been a couple of months. In like I don't know, April I guess, March, and I was like, yeah, it's been a while. I should go play some. Seraph shoulders. She got these magic shoulders. Uh, fly short distances. Only a fraction of their power remains. Hey, you know what a double jump is? It's that. Very fierce double jump, though, because normally it's a very, like, boom, boom. Like, the second jump is usually a little wimpier than the first one, but this one, like, the huge flash on the screen. Like, it's a, it's a, it's a legitimate pop. That's cool. All right. Thank you. Sorry, I just realized that I forgot the controls. The awesome use of Simon's new power. Climbing a ledge that was a little too high for him before. Oh, hey guys. What? What's happening? Did that just turn off? Ugh. That's weird. Like, it's not like it ran out of batteries. It's plugged in. I did, at one point while moving, drop this thing. And I, I'm hoping that it's fine. It should be. I don't know why it wouldn't be. Ugh. Strange, strange things. And it's a shame because this PC port's been really good. Like, I am very, very pleased with, like, how actually high quality this PC port is. Oh, hey, you can do that. But we won't. Just in case there's something down here, I want to see it. But I want you to know that I can do it. This combat still rocks, man. Also, yep. Here he is. A scroll. A witch haunts these parts, so I must be on my guard. I've come across gelable creatures and faced incalculable challenges. I have found strength in God through this adversary adversity. I have uh, considerable skill over uh, considerable skill with weapons and a command over light and shadow magic. Uh, I feel strong enough to challenge anything. Let the Lord of the Dead fear. The handwritten scroll ends abruptly. Uh, 
All right, yeah. I was kind of hoping it would be a gem. I guess they're probably going to be a little more uh, strict with what gives you a gem now, but... God, that thing kicks so much ass. I do miss the combat cross, I will say. With a boomerang. You're a Nintendo. Feels like the, uh, this feels like the trailer for an MMO. <laughs> yeah, it's these guys. Alright, well, I imagine it'd be a little easier to tell where I'm supposed to be going if I could... Okay. So far away. Like the camera is legitimately pulled so far away. So, what's the purpose of this? There's a lot of things where, like, I don't know if you get this with, with like, most action games, but there are a lot of action games that have, like, semi strange and curious puzzle elements. weird, right? Am I just supposed to be, like, killing them, or? They're also just burrowing under the ground like gophers. Really, it's a strange thing, all things considered. Oh, I see. Doing one of these. I possibly see. I don't know that I do. Headless Borrower. Undead creatures are the decapitated remains of Brotherhood warriors. Necromantic magic reanimates them to prey on the warriors who bear arms for the Brotherhood. Using their heads, they can attack at will. Biting and tearing their bodies are their weak spots. And anyone caught in a battle would do well to remember that. Ah. You know, the first night after I recorded this game, I actually had a like really weird dream about it. I don't know if I mentioned that. Oh boy. This is going about as well as I would have thought.
All right, got another one. I don't mean to be like frequently using the uh, the like big swing attack, but it's just so simple. Really solves problems, you know? What can you say? What if that heals you? I think that's almost all of them. You can stay in in your angel trigger for a while. Okay, cool. Apologies for the brief interruption. I just have to remember how the combat is even supposed to work. Oh, God. Are these meant to be like voodoo guys? Oh, their heads regenerate fully. That's kind of neat, actually. All right, good. She's a quick screen clear, just why not? Oh, God. <laughs> Gabriel, why? Okay. Cool. Luckily, the game will remind me how my Shadow Gem capacity even works. They expect you to get really quick on these. Not bad. These, go these guys remind me of like a Diablo 3 enemy. Or maybe it's the Diablo 3, like, um... Maybe it's the Witch Doctor I'm thinking of. Let's fall. Oh. There's a thing in there, though. Yeah, all right. I, I assume this is the right way. Oh, Lord. Oh, goodness. Probably should have double jumped there. Yeah. There we go. Ooh, the whip resets the jump. Clean living. All right. Oh, for the love of God. These little things, man. What, all my relics and powers? Game's like, I hope you weren't having fun with that. Can you climb up? I guess I'll just go find this fucking chupacabra. This is... This is such a strange choice for the video game to make, you know? Like... Oh, hey. All right.
it's not even just a thing of like difficulty, but like you get so used to the things that are in your move set. Right, gotta jump that one. Like I'm now a level one Belmont again, fighting a level one troll. Like this is a fight that I have done verbatim earlier in the game. Isn't that kind of weird? That's a strange choice to make. Shut up. Like, are they worried that I'll kill this thing too fast? Also, they made the Chupacabra very annoying, I will say. How do I... Right, yeah. All right. Okay, now <laughs> stop marveling at your own power, Gabriel. I am in need of your movement. Okay, I got this one. I thought there was like a knight in here that I had smacked and did not have the opportunity to grab. Am I crazy? Maybe I'm crazy. Oh! Shut up, even. A scroll. Chupacabras wander these parts. I must warn the Brotherhood. They do nothing but steal and play stupid games. We have more important things to do than partake in trite games. We have to save the world from Lord of Shadows. The dead walk the earth and land suffers. I suggest we kill the Chupacabras once and for all and wipe their existence from the face of the earth. It will be God's work and it is God who commands us to kill the scum. Hey, you know what? I'm not going to say they're right. But they're they're saying things. Whoops. I did the input wrong. Don't mind me, everyone. Come on now. <laughs> Thanks for telling me to get a running... Shut up, Patrick. Thanks for telling me that it's a good idea to get a running start and double jump in free fall video game. I'm sure that that is what you're supposed to do, but not there. It's more of that weird camera stuff. Like, I'm... I should be hitting, like, up in some of these things because up is now left because of the way that the camera's positioned. But you still hit left for some of them. This is just some of those things that you get for... Th this is what happens when, when fixed camera angles... This is a very 360-ass problem, I think. Because it's when a lot of people were still using, like, PS1-style fixed camera angles. I talked about this in the past. Um... But a lot of people were still using, like, PS1 fixed camera angles. Okay, thank you. Um, and, like, we hadn't fully moved past it. And, like, <coughs> games that were brand new for the 360, like Devil May Cry 4, still have fixed camera in them. And it's just kind of weird. 
I see Nim Gandolfi lives. Ooh, he's in the forest and the guy's an old beggar. I'm sure it's him. He's the warrior you've been hoping for. He will take down the Lords of Shadow with a legendary weapon and save us all. I knew he would return. Praise be to God. I kind of like this uh, level's palette. You know? Green and brown is mm, not cool. Ooh, that's neat. So now we have more of that, huh? I, I dig it. I'm cool with that. And then Gabriel went this way. A witch holds power here, but I sense Gabriel is more than a match for her. <sighs> Sorry, just stretching. I'm getting back into Let's Playing. I, I've been recording spotily. Um, I did a thing where, like, I just recorded a, a whole burst of episodes, and then that, like, fixed me up for the month. And what I need to do is one of those every week, but I have not been. Telling her he loves her, that they will be together again. All right, I get it. <laughs> Sorry, I really hate to be skipping this expensive Patrick Stewart monologue, but I get that Gabriel is sad that he's going somewhere, that he's thinking about his wife. That's almost Tim Burton y. The fact that it's like a sack or mouth of some ugly creature. Does anyone's computer ever, like, Lappy say that you have most of your battery available when you're plugged into the wall? It's like, why don't I have all of it? So I'm just noticing that my battery, for some reason, isn't full. Lost your way. Oh, lost your way. Master told Baba you would come. Mm hmm Who is your master? The king, of course. The king of the angels. <laughs> Can't you see by how Last Catholic I look? Uh, uh, Baba can help. Baba knows the path. Where is it? Where must I go? Only in the music box can blue rose grow. Baba wants to be young and pretty again. Bring Baba Blue Rose. Baba will show you the way to the land of the dead. Baba shrink you small enough to enter oh the box. <laughs> Inside you must pass the test and bring Baba Rose back. Baba will be young again. Oh, yes. She almost has the, um... Darkest Box dungeon stuff uh, uh, up behind her. Scarecrows took keys. Oh, bad scarecrows. Keys of three. Threes of King keys. Three. And you will see. Baba glad to set you free. Find keys and bring to Baba. B Baba not lie to you. Three keys. Go no further without the keys. I will get them for you, but you must promise to help me. Yes, yes, promise I will. Keys first. Go. Synatically, Go. that's syn syntax. Syntax. Syntaxonomy? Promise I will find keys first. I don't know if the, the words are in the right order in that statement. A main character entry. One mo. All right, and we're back. Baba Yaga. She's she's legal. You can just put her in anything. That's public domain, everyone. Old hag is subject of many a myth of popular folklore, appearing as an evil witch who eats children in a cabin that stands on chicken legs. Parts of these are true. Her house does not stay on chicken legs, though as for the rest, who knows? She, pr she brews a specialty made from rare rose petals which she uses to transform this hideous old hag into a beautiful young woman. She will sometimes help people. It's very dangerous to ask her a favor unless you are polite and can offer something in return. Baba will let you climb out when you have finished your task. I think the chicken legs being gone is kind of lame, honestly. Oh, uh, sorry. Let me turn this back down. A flock of crows has arrived. Okay. Another scroll. The witch said the scarecrows bonded to these posts were alive, and I didn't believe her. But after days of watching over one, I'm not sure what to believe. Birds landed on the scarecrow's head, and I saw it moving to catch them. I grabbed my sword and attacked the monster, but it remained inert without responding to its 
It's about responding to my blows. Can I just do my puzzle, guys? This isn't even a, a, a request to the zombies. Like... This is almost a, a request to Konami. Like, what's the point of those guys there? They don't offer challenge. Uh-huh. They don't offer too much of a challenge. I just blow through them, and they're just kind of in my way. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, stock knife noise. Ooh. You know what it could have though? Chicken legs. Oh, he pinwheels at ya. Bone wheels, rather. Ooh, that's cool. It's trying to like scissor your head off. Okay, you can do that for some reason. Radical. The scarecrow has dropped a key or a, you know, stone pizza slice. Monsters. Sorry, I didn't hit it when it came up. Scarecrow. Scarecrows are magical constructs of the crow witch Malthus that attack anything that move. Oh yeah, Malthus. Uh, she created them to watch Baba Yaga and nullify her power by restricting her movements. Scarecrows are aroused by birds which follow the crow which is bidding. Uh, they're, t they're fast and they attack with sh sharp scythes. So is this the puzzle, by the way? Like, I just gotta bring the crows to a thing that's making noise? A new flock of crows has arrived. Oh, goodness. Okay. Couldn't that also be one input? I don't know if I need to do the whole action command. A little silly. There's a lot that I, I feel like, oh, hey, now. There's a lot I feel that one could learn from this game. In a lot of ways and for a lot of reasons. Because, like, there's good content in here for a reboot. Of anything. If you're going to reboot anything, you could make it like this. I would say this is a lot more respectful to its subject material than DMC Devil May Cry. Um, there's a lot of nice, fun references to the old games that are still left here, which is nice. A light, magical gem. It still does do enough stuff that's new. Like, I don't think I've ever, like, really popped off during DMC Devil May Cry. Can't get over that, for some reason. But, like, I have popped out during this game, because, like, some of the animations are, like, legitimately exciting to watch, and that's cool. The, the pure, like, rage and fury and aggression that Mr. Belmont throws into himself and into his enemies. You know, I like that. Mm-hmm. Yep, come on. Don't have all day. 
Ooh, neat. That's the new one we just got. Huh, cool. Okay, where are those going? I still don't know if, like, whipping the ground really hard in order to, like, helm splitter with a whip. I don't know if that makes any, like, physical sense. Big crows. The th crows don't like to share their new posts. But the crows are here now. Which is what we wanted, right? I've got to say, it is supremely unhelpful to have the way that this game handles its, like, hints is very unhelpful, the way that it's like, okay, I need to move these blocks into a certain pattern. As if only there was something that would tell me what that pattern was. Oh, I'll lose the, I'll lose the bonus from the puzzle, but I'll get the answer. And then you, you unlock, like, quote-unquote solution, which is the solution and not the answer, and it's like, move the blocks in order to unlock the solution. And like, God, guys, really? Is that your, is that your whammy? Okay, so when he's stancing up to bring his feet down, that's when he's gonna put the hurt in the dirt there. This one does not have the wheel attack by the looks of it. Can't stop my mashing. FYI, in case you didn't see it, player. It's literally the only source of light in this area, but... Heads up, there's a key. Yeah, like, there's a lot... Because, like, this totally could have been, like, a game for the fans, right? This could have been a classic Castlevania game that just happened to be, like, set way in the past, or something. And, like, minimal changes would need to occur for that to happen. Or, like, this is a dark timeline, and the time guy from... The time guy from Judgment... I can't believe I'm saying this. What is his name? Aeon? I think it's Aeon. Aeon is there. <laughs> this, is, this is... Never mind. Cancel this line of thought. I'll finish it, but let it be known I don't know if I agree with this now that I've actually said it. But, like, what if Aeon the Time Guy was there? And he was like, you need to fix the timeline because everything's all screwed up. And then, like, at the end of this game, this could be a Doom timeline that we could go have more games in, but it wouldn't wipe out the old game. Because that's the thing about reboots. Like, do the old games still happen? Does that still exist? Is that canon? Uh, I've seen my death, and it's horrible indeed. I am comforted in my dreams. And my dreams tell me one will prevail to defeat the Lords of Shadow. I wonder, is he already searching the land laying waste to those who would destroy everything we love? If it is, then Godspeed, my friend. Kill and keep killing in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let all those who stand in his way feel God's wrath. Wrath of God. Go that way. One more flock of crows is needed, huh? Oh, hey, cool. A little Philip. The crows are here. <laughs> Greetings, health packs. Can you, can you give me a moment? I'm finding a life gem. Or a light magic gem, rather. Uh, 
All right. Yeah, there's a really big problem for like any reboot where it's like, does this mean that I can't even go back and enjoy the original one? Like, is that what you want? Because sometimes it is. Sometimes that is what the intention is. They want this to replace the old one. And I don't think that that should be the case, you know. And sometimes in a reboot, you just miss out on cool things, you know? Like, there was a lot of cool lore in, just off the top of my head here, the Bionicle reboot that was not brought into the original stuff. Like, the Mask of Creation was only made canon in the Bionicle reboot, and that didn't go backwards. Uh... And then there was, of course, a whole bunch of stuff that was in the new one that was not in the... Or in the old one that was not in the new one that they didn't bring through, and that's unfortunate. Knock me out of the air. Okay, so it looks like he has all the attacks for the previous ones, because this is the third guy as is tradition. And so, like, some stuff they actually have tried to bring back through. Like, there's a few things that kind of behave like this game in the anime. And, uh... But part of that is because we haven't seen, like, a proper true Trevor Belmont. You know? Like, I know he showed up in Curse of Darkness, but I don't think anyone played Curse of Darkness. Sorry for the Curse of Darkness fan out there who might be watching. Um, puzzle solved, plus big points. Um, but yeah, there's a few things of, like, this Gabriel Belmont that kind of evokes, uh, that Trevor Belmont evokes, you know? Land was once teeming with life and beauty. Now look at it. Sense of death is everywhere. The scarecrows see everything. And I've heard the crows of Malthus watch over this place and report back to their mistress. An old legend is written that a witch killed the lover of Malthus and she swore revenge. Gasp. I wonder if the old crow still lives or if it's another scary bedtime story for children. This isn't the right way. Um, pardon me, sir. Excuse me. That was weird. That was just like a straight backtrack. There wasn't anything going on there. Look, we made this animation and you're going to see it, damn you. But yeah, like, and, and in Smash Brothers, we have seen old Simon and old Richter before. But now they actually have given the newer re revamped versions of Simon and Richter almost the same clothes, but they have this whip. Like, they have the hybridized, like, combat cross whip that like unchains uh, and that's really cool and like that's smart as well I, I think that's a smart thing to do damn just a few short bunch of mandragoras and some scarecrows the music box the old hag has cast a spell on Gabriel making him very small small enough to enter the music oh, box Lord. and retrieve the blue rose she so obviously Is this desired. gonna end with us fighting a giant Baba this Yaga like in, like in God nervous. of War where there's like a, a big guy on a, <laughs> on a thing? Disquiet. She mentioned the king of the angels I am sure I In case you missed the last level that you just played here's what's going Why on Why do I have this feeling of dread? Alright
This is pretty neat. I will say. This is an interesting way to have like a um a cool like hybrid level. Because before, uh, not hybrid level, like um, mechanical level. The green cylinder. Use the green cylinder of the device to open up a new path in the music box. Okay. Just wanted a chest. I want to see what my options are. <laughs> Dangerous the music box is. Ah, I see. So this is the green hallway. <laughs> I found a scroll? Where? Music box mark three. Operating instructions. For servicing, control the mechanisms inside the box using the central machine. Moving through the corridors, make sure the music cylinders are placed in the correct order. Uh, check the decoration in each corridor before using cylinders. For safety reasons, keep children away. What the hell? You alive? Mm, yes, oh, you I see. Are. Good. Good. It's not off. It just cycles. Quickly, gimme. You are not as good as he said you would be. He said you would be worthy. I can select and unselect the green cylinder, and I can play it. Okay. Maybe the red cylinder. Before you. Yes, yes, many. What are you talking about, Baba Yaga? Oh, that's a teleport thing. Okay, well, I hope I got everything from over there. I'm going to make sure. Because I don't trust that for anything. Okay. Okay. Just making sure, everyone. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Don't I got. Okay, so now we have green and red. What does that do for us? I don't know. So does that... Don't think so. Does that do anything here? No. Uh-huh. Avoid all the traps in the thing with sprint, dodge, or walk. Shut up, Patrick. So what's going on here? Damn it. Dangerous the music boxes. Can't wait to hear that out some more. This is a weird puzzle, I'll say that much. On the topic. Oh, now we can do something with it. So now that the red is going, aha. <laughs> I see. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. 
Oh, it's been 45. Uh, this has been Castlevania Lords of Shadow, everyone. I've been Alfred. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I certainly did. I'm getting back in, and happy October. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.